to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. From Mexican Spanish chocolate from Nahuatl, Aztecan, chocatle, choca, chocolate, and or cacahuatle. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month, All-Stars. I'm Mr. Torres, one of the PE teachers at Hoffman, Boston. Did you know that Hispanic Heritage celebrates many different cultural experiences? Often on TV or in books, you see the same images such as dancers with big colorful skirts, families eating tamales, or a child speaking Spanish. But these are just some of the cultural traditions held by Latinos. The great thing about Hoffman Boston is that our Hispanic population is represented by so many countries, each with their own foods, languages, music, dance, art, and holiday experiences to enjoy. Growing up, I had friends from the Dominican Republic, Colombia, Peru, and other Latin American countries. Even though we all spoke or understood Spanish, there were so many wonderful experiences that were unique and different. One of my closest friends was from Ecuador. My parents were both born in Puerto Rico. My friend and I both love food and I enjoy going to his home to taste the foods that were so different from the Puerto Rican food my mom was cooking. In his home, we ate porotos, or frijoles, with our rice. When he came to my home, my mother made arroz con habichuelas. Porotos, frijoles, habichuelas are all Spanish words for beans. When I went for a ride in his father's car, we listened to typical Ecuadorian music called pasillo. It sounded something like this. When he came to my home, we usually had some salsa playing in the background. It sounded something like this. My friend and I both love sports, but we would often argue about which sport was the best. In Ecuador, football or soccer is king, but in Puerto Rico, baseball is the number one sport played. As we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, be sure to ask questions and research the many different and wonderful cultures that contribute to the Hispanic experience. To me, respect means we care for one another. To me, respect means caring. Caring about others and wanting to hear their thoughts, their ideas, and their opinions. To me, respect means treating others how I would like to be treated. Spirit Week is coming! Hi, Miss Bergen. Oh, hey, Miss Fold. So, I heard there's going to be something called Spirit Week. Yes, Spirit Week is next week, and something special is happening every day. Well, how do I know what to wear on what days? Oh, well, let me tell you. So, first, on Monday, our asynchronous day, 
it is fall into fall. And what you can do is you can wear your favorite fall outfit or take a picture of something that makes you think about fall, or you can drink a warm fall beverage. And then on the flip grid, you can share what you think about fall. So what do I wear on Tuesday? Mm, Tuesday is wacky Tuesday. And it's all about wearing things that don't match or don't go together or inside out. That sounds fun. Hi boys and girls, Miss Fields here, and I have a solution to my pencil problem. So many people were suggesting get a container or get a mug or you even use a water bottle in order to put my pencils in. But I found something interesting around my house and I came up with using this as my pencil holder. So the first one says STEM because I teach STEM and I love STEM. The next part is a star, has my favorite colors in it, the purple and the blue and then the white in the middle, kind of like a shield. Then the next side slow shows something I like to do, which is go to the beach and just sit out and watch the waves. So, oh, and the last one is a picture of a tree with flowers on it. So these are all things I like. And then if I put my pencil or my pen in here, it stands up and it holds my pencil. I can even put some glue in there and it'll hold my pencil and my glue. My problem has been solved. And boys and girls, I hope your pencil problems have been solved as well. You can just use a container or something around your house and use it to hold your pencils or pens and crayons. Thank you for helping boys and girls. I wonder what Miss Fields will make you try out next. Stay tuned. Peace out, all stars.